our city continues to grow, Cap. It, it's, it's growing faster than perhaps some of us would like. Uh, and I now realize that we just passed Detroit and are now uh, the 16th largest city in the country. Uh, I think that's good in one sense. In another sense, I think it also has got to remind us to stay grounded, to realize how important facilities like the one we are fixing to cut this ribbon on today is to not just this community, this, this city, uh, but to the entire region. I need to acknowledge that this new facility is a credit to the city's bond program and to our crime control and prevention district. Both worked extremely well and I think you would agree this is a real life example of your city tax dollars at work improving the quality of life of the people who live here. Many of you remember, but there was a time when Fort Worth had the unfortunate billing as one of the most dangerous cities in the country. However, thanks to our officers, our employees, new police substations like this one and our neighborhood policing programs, CCPD, the tides have turned and those chimes signify that turn. <laughs> Just wanted to see how we worked that into it. In fact, when it comes to crime in Fort Worth, we have indeed done a complete 180. I can't overstate this morning, friends, how much it means to me to help celebrate this grand opening of the new Polytechnic Heights Neighborhood Police Center with all of you. In recent years, we have been witnessing an extraordinary renaissance of neighborhoods across Southeast Fort Worth and a renewed sense of community. The city of Fort Worth has stood right there along with us. And I can't thank my council colleagues enough. And I'm so pleased that Danny and Zim and the mayor are here with us today. And of course, our police force, who has waited so very patiently in that awful building next door for this beautiful, sunny day to arrive. I want to take the opportunity, if you don't mind, Captain Jones, to please introduce uh, Ralph Helmick, the artist. When I came over here after a really long day uh, of council, you know, you're weary, you've gone through a lot of uh, meetings, and I think Ralph thought I was kind of bizarre, because I walked in, I just started tearing up when I saw this beautiful um, uh, space. The, the public art is, I might be biased, one of the most beautiful in the city. There was kind of a dual inspiration for this on two sides, you know, one was the neighborhood itself, and we'll talk about that in a second, but also the architecture of Perkins and Will, you know, um, in the very early, before this building, the ground was even broken, this site was called the Beacon of Justice, and it's kind of an unusual site, tall, narrow, and it was, uh, it was a lantern, essentially. And uh, one thing you'll notice if you hang out here, both during the day and the night, is that the artwork has two very distinct presences. During the day, it's more of an interior piece, and uh, after today's ceremonies, I'd encourage you to go and look up from underneath, which gives kind of a mandala effect of all the profiles. And you're right, um, all the profiles are drawn from people in the neighborhood, and there's a few in there from the police force as well, which is all part of the community. Today, when this was planned, it was originally uh, slated for 13,000 square feet. Uh, I am so pleased. Thank you, Kathleen, and everybody else. It's over 30,000 square feet, and with our CCPD and our partnership investment, we found the funds. Long before I was lucky enough to receive this job, they worked hard to get this as a, as a, a real plan, a real building, and what you have now is a state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly, and a professional location for such a professional organization, and I'm absolutely honored to stand before this facility. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.